One year ago, a derecho changed the Iowa landscape forever. I would say within about 10 minutes, you know, Buccaneer Arena was there one day and kind of there the next. Des Moines Buccaneers president Nate Toit says it's still a shock to think what happened. The day the derecho ripped the roof off the beloved 60-year-old hockey arena he calls home. And that's when the windows were shaking and it sounded like this gigantic piece of Velcro just completely got ripped off of the top of the building. And then water started pouring in everywhere on top, on top of the ice, down the scoreboard, into the concourses. And then once everything seemed to subside a little bit, I came out here where we're standing today and this whole east side of the parking lot is just covered with our roof. The roof fell onto parked cars and totaled two of them. Several players were on the ice at the time. Luckily, they weren't injured. It's just one of those things that you, you don't really ever see coming and it changes your life. The team was able to move its games to Wells Fargo Arena and eventually fix 